are spending a lot of time at home, have you ever wondered about all of the objects in your house and what they're made of? Like, why do we use some materials for some uses and not for others? My name is Annie Regan and I work at the Amber Research Centre. I'm a material scientist, so I spend a lot of time thinking about all of the stuff around us and how it can be made better. Like, how to make your phone screen much, much stronger so that it doesn't smash when you drop it. Or how to make your phone battery last much longer so that it doesn't run out just when you need it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can become a material scientist too from the comfort of your own home. Let's look at some objects in our homes and talk about what they're made of. To start, here's something everyone is very familiar with. A table. What's a table made out of? Well, usually wood or plastic. And because of these materials, our tables are hard, strong and smooth. So they're great for doing our homework on. What next? What about kitchen roll? Kitchen roll is made out of paper, which we know comes from wood. But of course, it's very different to the wood of our kitchen table or even the paper of our coffee books. And why is that? Paper is processed from wood in many different ways, allowing it to be made into smooth, thin sheets. These are smooth and flexible compared to the sturdy structure of the wood of our kitchen table. Now, water really likes these materials. And so we know that if we spill something onto our coffee books, Sadly, the water isn't going to just run off the page. Similarly, to prevent water from seeping into the wood of our kitchen tables, we usually have to coat or treat the wood to make it less attractive to water. And yet, we wouldn't use copybook paper to mop up a spill, nor would we use a chunk of wood. That's because they're not absorbent. Kitchen paper is absorbent, because if we could look at it under a microscope, we would see that there's lots of small pockets spread throughout the material. Water likes to collect in these pockets instead of spreading throughout the sheet. This allows the sheet to stay strong so that it doesn't fall apart while you're cleaning up. What next? What about mirrors? What are they made of? So mirrors are made of glass, making them strong and smooth, and they also have a metal film over the surface. This makes them shiny and reflective, allowing light to bounce off the surface of the mirror and into our eyes so that we can see what's standing in front of it. Now, we said mirrors are strong, but what happens if you drop one? Along with seven years bad luck, there's gonna be a bit of a mess to clean up. So what's going on here? Let's try and imagine all of the teeny tiny atoms throughout the surface of the glass. If we zoom in to one part, what would we see? We would see a group of atoms, all strongly bonded together, like a group of friends holding hands really, really tightly. If we move into another part of the mirror, what would we see there? We would see the same thing, a group of atoms holding hands really, really strongly, all bonded together very tightly. Now, what about the distance between these two groups? What if this group of atoms doesn't really know the other group of atoms very well? Maybe the atoms along that distance are holding hands very weakly, so they're not bonded strongly together. Similarly, throughout the whole mirror, all these groups of atoms aren't bonded together very strongly even though the atoms in the groups themselves are. And so when you drop a mirror, the force of impact is enough to break those weak bonds. And that's why your mirror breaks up into chunks. Next, what about windows? What are they made of? In some homes, glass. In others, plastic. What are the benefits of using these materials instead of something like wood? They're transparent, so we can see through them. They're also very strong, even the plastic ones. 
What other objects come to mind when we think of plastic? Maybe a drinks bottle? Or something like cling film? Could we make windows out of this stuff? Cling film windows? Definitely not. Especially not in cold, windy Ireland. So how can we say windows are made of plastic? That's because there are lots of different types of plastic. Some are transparent and see-through, others are not. Some are stretchy and flimsy, and others, like the ones we use to make windows, are strong and hard, thankfully. So the last object we'll talk about is a mobile phone. Now, what's this made of? Well, lots of things. To start, we have plastic for the casing. This is rigid and hard. Then we have glass for the screen. And this has a special chemical coating on it called indium tin oxide. Now, that name sounds strange, but really all it's telling us are the ingredients of that material. Indium, tin, and oxygen. Indium tin oxide is a really special material because it's transparent and conductive, meaning it allows energy to pass through it. And so, our phone screens are able to interpret our touch like the pressing of a button. So really, thanks to indium tin oxide, we can have touchscreen devices. Scientists have come a long way in trying to make phone screens really strong, even to the point where we call the type of glass used in a lot of mobile phones Gorilla Glass, because it's that strong. But they're not perfect. If only they were bendy or flexible, they'd be a lot harder to break when we drop our phones. So material scientists like me are still trying to fix this problem. We'll talk to you about that some more in future videos. So all of the words we use to describe materials like absorbent, transparent, flexible or rigid, are the properties of that material. Properties are the qualities or traits that belong to materials. And it's these properties that help us choose certain materials for making different objects, depending on what we use them for. If you want to learn more about nanomaterials and nanoscience, please visit the AMBER website at ambercenter.ie forward slash NanoWow. You can sign up for free virtual science events and download more information about learning from home.